Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Bassmasters Classic Show. I'm a sales rep in the state of Oklahoma for Phoenix Rods, and we're going to show and present a few rods that we have from crankbait rods, some flipping rods, um, some spinnerbait rods and things. But first, I want to introduce you to Vince. Vince is one of the owners at Phoenix Rods, and he will go over each technique and detail on each rod. Vince, thanks for being in Oklahoma with Thank us today. Thank you. Glad you're being here. It is a pleasure having you here. It's a little so, colder than we're used to in California, but it is a little a, bit colder. A bass is a bass. So. <laughs> and, and I hear that they're catching them out there. They are catching so, them out there. I've been watching will, the updates. Yeah, watching the updates. If you'll just go over the rods with these, Absolutely. and we'll take it over from there. Thank Absolutely. you, Vince. Well, I know crankbaits are really popular here, and uh, we, have, we have several different lines of crankbaits to, that we offer. We have an X series, which is a composite series. Uh, we have an X9, X10, X11, X12, X13. Uh, some of them we even offer in a spinning conversion. Uh, a lot of guys like throwing little rip baits and stuff with a spinning uh, rod. But uh, this would be uh, uh, the X series of, of uh, crankbait rods here. Uh, the, the even numbers are a lighter crankbait rod than the, the odd numbers, the X10, the X12. Same action on the X10, X12. Uh, different length, 7 foot and uh, 7 six on the X12. Uh, same with the X11, X13. So if you're fishing open water, you could use the, the X10, X12. If you're fishing around a lot of grass, or uh, you're ripping a trap or a square bale through grass, then you want to go with the X11, X13. Uh, a little more backbone to the rod. Uh, then uh, we also have uh, a glass series of rod called our XG series. Uh, we have it in a red and we also offer it in a brown for those that don't like the, the bling of a red. But uh, we offer these in three different lengths, seven foot, seven four, and seven eight, or seven nine, I'm sorry. Uh, the X series is, is a very soft rod. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's got a pretty whipping tip. But what I notice is when you hook up with a fish, that fish stays pinned. Uh, it's got plenty of fish in the, the five to seven pound range on this rod, and I've lost very few. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the, the way the rod actually handles the bigger fish. Uh, as far as a regular bass rod, we have four different lines of bass rods. We have uh, our Recon series, which uh, we've just this last uh, fall introduced a Recon 2. Made a few upgrades to it, uh, a few changes. One of the, the Recon series in 2012 was really popular for us, but the hook keeper that we have up here used to be placed on the bottom, and it was a flip style hook keeper. So one of the things our company likes to do is listen to feedback from our customers, and uh, one of the feedback was get rid of the hook keeper from down here, let's move it up here to a traditional spot because when you're two-hand casting down here, it was getting in the way and interfering. So it's a, the Recon Series is a 36-ton Tory carbon fiber blank. It has a very JDM look. Uh, what a lot of guys don't realize is when you talk about a JDM rod, it's not so much just the aesthetics of it, but the action of it. The, the power on a JDM rod loads further down into the rod, so you're actually using on a seven foot rod, four foot of rod to fight a fish rather than two foot of tip to fight a fish. Uh, it helps out again, kind of like the crankbait series where that softness of the rod keeps a fish pinned, so does that JDM bend in, in a rod. But uh, the Recon Series MSRP, anywhere from uh, 159 to 219. Uh, there's uh, 18 models now in the Recon Series, starting at 6'8", all the way up to 8 foot. Next to the Recon, we have our new uh, M1 nanotube rods that we introduced this year at ICAST in uh, 2012. And uh, what we have here is a, a nano rod, SIC guides, a custom Phoenix carbon fiber checker pattern reel seat. Uh, again, the EVA with the blend, we, we like to be creative in our, in our handle systems, make them attractive. Um, aesthetically pleasing. The, the hook keeper on this, we went with a, a little clip style and it's at the back of the, the handle here. But also on these, on the proprietary wheel seat, we have our own hook keeper in the back of the handle. So if you have a little rip bait with a treble hook or something, you want to just pop it into the handle, that works good. Or if you have a drop shot or that's a style of bait, Texas rig, you don't want to unhook it. You just slide it into the, the slip style hook keeper. Uh, these rods MSRP from 159 to 189, uh, utilizing that nanotechnology and an inner wall proprietary scrim, what we've been able to do is increase the hoop strength of the rod 
to where if you see uh, go online and, and watch different videos of me demonstrating this line, I could actually take our 7-2 Heavy and put six pounds of lead at the tip and deadlift it at a 90 degree angle without the rod breaking, basically high sticking the rod. So we've, we've created a rod uh, with the nano resins, SIC guides, uh, incredible strength and sensitivity to it, super light and brought it in at a price point where there, I don't think there's any other nano rods on the market that uh, can compete with it. And if there are, I'd want to put the weight on the end of there and see how they, uh, how they handle that. Uh, then above, above all of uh, the bass rods, our top of the line is our MBX series. It utilizes a 40 ton Torre carbon fiber blank, Fuji SIC guides, Again, we do a custom blend on the handles. On the regular MBX, we blend uh, the cork with an EVA blend, checkerized, uh, rubberized cork. And then on the classic series, uh, instead of the EVA bands, we use an actual Burlwood uh, bands that we, we process here in the U.S. out of uh, Washington State. Um, price point on the MBX is from $249 all the way up to $289. Uh, very light, very sensitive, well-balanced rod. And on the MBX, we have uh, 42 models uh, to choose from. So that, that pretty much sums up uh, what we offer as far as bass series. We have uh, almost 500 SKUs. We have everything from ultralight, crappie rods, all the way up to heavy tuna saltwater rods. So get a chance, go on to Phoenix Rods, www.phoenixrods.com, and uh, take a look at them. And uh, oh, another key point, every rod we manufacture has a lifetime, no questions asked warranty. Welcome to Phoenix Rods.